All right, I'm here with the University of Pennsylvania head football coach, Ray Priori. Coach Priori, thank you very much for taking the time today, sir. How are you doing? Oh, very good. Appreciate it, coach. So you guys are just finishing up the spring ball sessions, you know, a really good spring practice on Saturday. What was your evaluations of your team this spring and just the spring as a whole? Well, I, I thought it was um, uh, with some great leadership from uh, coaches and our upperclassmen. I thought our kids were very uh, on point uh, ever since we got back to campus in early in the, uh, you know, I should, should say in January, came back and they trained real, real, real hard. And I just thought uh, we, we had building blocks. We set some some uh, short-term goals, long-term goals, and I thought our kids uh, did a good job uh, day in and day out. One of the things that really stands out with this roster and watching the spring game on Saturday is how many returners you guys have, you know, especially up front on the offensive and defensive line. Can you just talk about, you know, how much of an anchor that'll be for this team having so many returners? Yeah, no doubt about that. I, I, I sort of will, will, will start it out by saying that, you know, we took our first road trip last year up to Bucknell, uh, 62 man travel roster, you know, three quarters of the players. That was their first, you know, trip, their first college playing experience. So obviously we knew uh, it, it paid dividends in the long run because with that, uh, we do have four to five uh, guys returning in the offensive line, which is real, real happy about that. And other than losing, Prince Amelie in a defensive front, uh, who's hopefully going to hear some good news around the draft time here coming up soon. Uh, we, we have a good group of those guys returning on the defensive front. So um, really that's where it all starts. It's anchoring up up front with uh, both, both sides of the line of scrimmage. And they, I thought they, again, competed very, very hard. and got a lot, of, lot, lot, lot more to do, but I thought they did a good job. You mentioned Prince there, Coach. He's had a real nice pre-draft process, did really well at his pro day a few months ago. Can you just talk about him as a player a little bit and, and what a team would be getting if they were to select Prince Amelie? Yeah, I, I think first off, it all starts with, with work ethic, okay? I think he's a tremendous, tremendous worker. Uh, he does not stop. I think he's uh, someone who's, uh, because of how hard he works, and, that, and then brings in the leadership component of it. Uh, yes, his numbers were very, very impressive, Uh uh, then when he did his pro day coming through. And uh, uh, so we're real excited about what that uh, next level will take from him. And obviously it's uh, NFL is a whole nother level, but I think he uh, he's up to the task and he's put, and he's trained extremely hard to get to this point. So uh, I would just say you're going to get a person that's going to give you he has and extremely talented. Getting back to this year's team, your quarterback, Aiden Sane, I thought he had some positive moments on Saturday and definitely did some really good things his freshman year, especially considering that he was a true freshman. Um, you know, just talk about his game a little bit. What did you see from him this spring and just his development as a whole? Yeah, I, I think it was um, very helpful uh, that he uh, had played in the last five games last year. Uh, again, uh, you never want to put a, a freshman in that situation, but um he has to uh, get baptized at some point in time, and he really uh, you know, got put into the fire and really at times showed great poise for a y real young player and pocket presence and those things and leadership. And then, you know, going through the winter time now and through the spring, yeah, you really see that growth uh, in his development of, you know, reading defenses and some of the schematic things that we're doing with them and just physically developing, maturing. Again, you're going from, from, from high school football you know, you know, a year, year and a half ago, whatever it was, and go right to the college scene. So there's that physical part of development as well, as well as the mental piece. One of the big moves of the offseason for you guys was bringing back Dan Swanstrom, naming him the offensive coordinator after he had a lot of success down at Ithaca College as their head coach. Also had a lot of success as your quarterback coach back in the day when Alec Torgerson was having, you know, all the great times that he was having at Franklin Field. Can you just talk about how it's been working with Dan again this year? Yeah, that, that was real, really great to get Dan back. Uh, I think he uh, brings back great, great leadership. Uh, I think when you've sat in the, the most couple of things, you know, Dan had been here. He understands Penn, uh, the student athlete, the type of young men that he'd be wor uh, working with. But him going out and, and, and being the, 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 the boss up there in Ithaca, where he did a tremendous job, that type of experience dealing with you know, those day to day head coach sort of situations, I think really made him prime for having a lot of success here. Um, uh, his schematics, you know, football is football, but it's the presentation by which you do. And I thought he really, really uh, has done a great job of leading the, you know, the offensive side of the ball, you know, this spring. Let's look ahead a few months now to when you guys will be holding your annual football camps. You know, I know that's a big thing for your program every year, college football programs across the country. 
Um, just talk about how important that is for your recruiting efforts, getting to see some student athletes that you might not have seen otherwise, you know, that come out to your camp. Just how important is that for you guys? Uh, tremendously important. Uh, I think uh, out of our recruiting classes this past year, uh, 50% of them had, had attended camp last year. Um, others we had seen in other camps across the country. But it's so important just to really um, be able to sit there and train young young people to see how they react, see truly how, how, how athletic they are. Now, again, football tape and looking at those things are important, uh, having those measurables and getting those measurables of jumping and wingspan and 40-yard dash is equally as important. Uh, but I would also say this. I think it's important for uh, the, the, the high school students to – be coached by the coaches and see if they like, you know, uh, the the the, you know, the quality of our staff in there. So I think it's a win-win with both, uh, both the uh, athletes and the colleges for, you know, holding those camps. And those have been a very, very, very successful tool for us. And not only do we have our camps, but we go around the, the country to a lot of different camps, uh, Stanford, Northwestern, we're down at Duke, Wake Forest, uh, to mention a couple that will be out for, uh, you know, in the uh, springtime. You know, looking at this year's recruiting class as a whole, it looks like a really strong class. You know, some names that are just coming to my mind off the top of my head, Isaac Shabby, a running back from Texas, Jaden Hodge, safety DB from Florida. I know there's a lot more. Those are just a few um, that I'm thinking of right now. Can you just talk about that class as a whole, what you're expecting to get from them when they get on campus? Yeah, I think the growth of the freshmen, you know, again, we, we, we think these young men coming in, um, are, are, are talented uh, and in many different re regards. They, they checked a lot of boxes as high school students and everything else. I think the key is how they get transitioned into your program. Uh, going from high school level to college level uh, can be challenging. Um, you mentioned two young men who happen to be skilled players. I think ability for skilled players to play at the next level earlier is always a little bit easier just from the physicality and the growth component of it. And uh, you hope that you know some of these young men can potentially uh, – give us some support and, and depth into uh, various positions. Uh, you never go into it saying that a freshman could impact, but in years past, we've had some really talented freshmen. Uh, last year, Trevor Mayberry and I'll see Aiden were two freshmen that, that uh, you know, Aiden, uh, I should say Trevor Mayberry started in all 10 games for us as a freshman, and Justin Cayenne, uh, tight end at a bowl school uh, for us last year, played in several games as tight end. So uh, each kid will develop uh, as they're going through spring, but uh, we do think we have a, a good, um, a good, good kid and they, uh, and they love the game. They're very passionate about the game, which I think is so, so important. They're, they're committed to, to, to really, really being the best they can be. You know, to wrap up here, coach, and once again, really appreciate you taking the time for this interview. What was kind of your final message to the team as you guys wrapped up the spring, as you guys finished up the, the scrimmage on Saturday, what was kind of your message to the team as you guys move forward here? Well, we, we talk about doing things in steps, and this is a, the next step in that progression to leading to preseason. Uh, again, we go back. We have a very good winter program in the weight room, in the bubble, working on out. I really liked how our staff and players prepared for spring. Uh, we saw some great competition, some good physicality uh, in the practices. Um, but it's now, we, we as we set off, and our kids are um, will be here, and they'll be all over the country doing things. It's now the next step is that accountability to themselves and their teammates that we're, we're training the way we need to be and come back in, in August with the right mindset uh, to get uh, get things going and really just worry about the things that are in front of you. You can't worry about the first game or two we get through camp and all those other things. So take it step by step. And uh, I think we're in a, in, a, in a good position right now to hopefully uh, continue to uh, have some, 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 some uh, success. Here with UPenn head football coach Ray Priori. Coach Priori, really appreciate your time today. All the best. Now you're welcome. Thank you.